finding a vehicle in a shed in the UK is not uncommon. Depend what you can find in a shed. Well, today we got a barn find edition of the old school garage with this Daimler. Welcome to the show. I'm Boris and this is Old School Garage, Barn Fine Edition, as I said earlier. This is today's project. The owner don't like to be on a camera, but he owned this car several years now. But, well, as you see the state of it, it's not been moved much. So roughly this car has been stored for about 26 years now. And... If we look through the car, uh, they done a little bit of work because they had some perished tires on it. So they changed the tires for these off-roading style tires, if you see that. So, let's look inside the car and see what's this car all about. So more about this Daimler. This car made production as a Daimler 2.5 liter. That was the original name for the car and since 1950 they called it the Daimler Consort which is still the same engine but it's just been slightly updated with the name and few other bits as well so two and a half liter engine straight six four speed manual pretty basic everything in this car but it's already produced 70 horsepower which if you're thinking about it, in the 40s that was pretty good going. What you can see here is suicide doors. Suicide doors for the front, a regular door for the back. Just a bit of story about this car, what I know about it. It's been stored in the same village where I am, which is I can't really disclose at the moment, but it's been stored in this village for 26 years. So. Somebody I know bought it and they start doing a bit of work on this car but uh, as you can see the state of the car is not been driven. So what they done to it, they start fiddle with the engine, apparently they try to start it up and manage to start it up then it stalled. So possibly the fuel pump or the fuel tank it's clogged and brought some bad fuel or rubbish into the tank from the tank to the engine so there is a potential problem with the clogged fuel line or actually maybe clogging up the jets in the carburetor what you think is going to start up drop me down in a comment so from inside the car you got the gear selector you got all the all the equipment to check everything in these old cars so you have water temperature, you got the ammeter, you got the petrol in gallons and also you got some of these uh, some of these levers you don't recognize from modern cars. So you got a mixture valve in here, you got a hand throttle on the steering wheel which is I think that's the choke or I might be wrong also you got a periodic radio I don't think you can get anything on that radio anymore uh, the clock is still measured up to 100 miles an hour I mean we're talking about 40s I mean when this car made was 39 originally you know so that's quite a long time ago it's 80 years nearly lovely wooden dashboard i mean what you can see in here is a bit of a woodworm went into this car but uh, inside looks rock solid i mean the seals everything the mud guards or fenders you call it they all look pretty solid i mean even the door cards even the door cards looks all right you know i mean it, they do clean up i mean there is some evidence of some wear in here and what I noticed earlier is a bit of an evidence of rodents as well, which is not very good. 
but apparently it's all been resolved now, so it's not they're not in a car anymore. And um, there we go. We got an engine in here, the 2.5 liter straight six, single carbs, nothing, nothing overly complicated in this car. Uh, also, if I might go to the other side, there is a mechanical fuel pump in there. Just a coil. Coil is, looks like it's been replaced. Nothing majorly wrong with it. But let's jump in and look at the engine from inside now. So inside the engine bay now. I got a torch in my hand because it's pretty dark in this garage. You can see the state of it. It's a bit of a moisture down there. Apart from that, it looks okay. But there's a bit of a rust on the bottom of the engine, but it's still fine. That's your single carb in there. So what you can see in here is some of them, the HT lead has been replaced when they tried to start the car. That was about six, seven years ago. Uh, there is a new coil on there. And fuel line looks okay-ish. I mean, well, I don't know if you can see the fuel filter looks a bit rubbish. And going down to the fuel pump down there. Also, what I noticed as well, let me just see if I can get my camera down there. There is a huge hole on the coolant pipe. But right now, just to see if the engine is turned over or not, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So let's prepare and see what's in the car. So let me just try to shine in there. So we're going to check for engine oil. You see, that's fine, it's dripping. It doesn't smell petrol in there. It doesn't smell petrol in there, which is good. Let's put this back in. So, because it's been started about six years ago, I'm gonna go replace the battery now. I can't really see uh, too much problem with it is not going to be turning over. So what I'm going to do now, disconnect the fuel line so we don't get any more rubbish down there. And because it is a mechanical fuel pump, so if I prime it because there is a primer on the carb, I should be able to prime it up manually. That's the theory. I got some extra pipe in here for the fuel line. So let's get on with it. So to disconnect the fuel line, we just need to find the end of the Pipe. Right. We find a issue. We definitely find an issue because this pipe is not being connected to anything else. I bought one of these trusty hats with the LED lights on the top so I can actually see something. Right. That's interesting. So, uh, pull this pipe. Wow. Okay. Pipe is off. Pipe is off. I need to disconnect that filter because this looks a bit rubbish. You can see the state of this. This is just full of rust. Look at that. Look at that. This is just completely rusted out. Wow. Okay, so that's in a fuel tank. That's definitely in a fuel tank. This is just ridiculous. Look at that. Look at the mount. It's coming out from it. It's unbelievable. Okay. To make. 
don't make any more dirt in here. So definitely this fuel filter done its job because it doesn't let through any rubbish. Or I guess it doesn't let through any rubbish. Right, next thing we do, take this Jubilee clip off. And there is another Jubilee clip down there. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so we might have a different problem in here as well. Because looks like it's quite a lot of rubbish went down to the fuel pump. See if there's anything in here. Right. So there is some, a bit of a rubbish was down there as well. I hope the filter done its job. I'll stop all this rubbish to go down. Right, okay. Next thing, uh, bring a pipe. I hope I brought the right pipe. And um, connect it up. Well, I brought a pipe down with me and I was hoping it's gonna be all right. So just connect this pipe up in here. Put the Jubilee on it, just in case. As long as this Jubilee clip goes over, should do. Just loosen it up a bit. I got the tub of fuel in here. Obviously, I'm not gonna be silly to start it up. We checked oil. Uh, oil is in there. Um, it's the old battery in the vehicle, so I'm gonna take the old battery out, uh, put the new one on. Just gonna take the plug out just to check what's inside there. Should be fine, should be fine, because as I said, it's been replaced previously everything on it and I think the issue they had with this car they run it up with all the dirt from the fuel tank stored it and they just don't bother it since so maybe that's the only problem I don't know problem is I don't have any clear pipe so I can't see from this pipe when I prime the engine up if the fuel gonna get down to the pump through the engine up to the car but because it's a prime it's a prime down in here as well, so I can prime it for here. It's a bit sticky, but I can prime it for there and prime it from the carb as well. So let's see. I just want to show you ignition on in here. You see ignition lights, oil light is on. Uh, is in neutral. We kind of having a clutch. I think, I think we're neutral, just to see, okay, so just had a little kick over. Okay, we saw, we're turning over, that's why I just did a little bit of a click, just to flick it over, just to see if the engine is seized or not. Uh, push button starting, just like new cars. Right, put some uh, fuel in there now, pump it up and see what's going to happen with the car, if it's going to start up or if want to start up. Right, so, pipe connected, a tub of petrol connected. I mean, to be fair, Johnny Smith on late brake should have a really good idea with this can of hope. I think that's the way to go forward. May this not going to work in this occasion, but hey-ho, it's only one way to try it. Okay, so I start pumping this pump up I start actually start feeling some resistance now problem is I got a black pipe so uh, it, I can't see fuel coming down in there okay seems to be there's a bit of bit of vacuum okay don't feel any more petrol coming through but we got leakage. I 
I might tie that screw up. Good thing is I know now petrol is coming down. Seems to be lost all the pumping action from the pump. Weird, okay. The normally you can pump through unless if the pump is stuck. Right, let's go to the other side and just check. We got enough fuel coming up to that carb, which is I doubt. Hmm. Right here, let's just check, flick it over. What's gonna happen? Oh, choke. We do need choke on. Uh, lever seems to be a bit, <sighs> a bit stuck. So I just do it manually. There is a choke down there. Right. Ignition on. I mean, the I mean, the throttle is a bit stuck. Some fuel hopefully gets through. Let's check that. Let's check that fuel pump in the other side for a minute. If it's actually moved some fuel. Okay, so. Okay, so the fuel pump seems to be. I can move it by hand, so it means it might be worked. I don't know. I really don't know. Right. I can't see any. Hmm. Let's just push in a bit of a brake cleaner. I know it's a bit of a cheat. Okay, well obviously it's not starting at the moment, so might as well just check spark. Maybe it's not just fuel only, so check the spark first and uh, see, what's, see what's next. Uh, first plug is out. Quite a bit of build up on carbon deposit on it. So I think the best thing to do, take all the plugs out, clean it first and just check for sparks because I think with this build up in here uh, could play up so easiest thing clean it up put it back in well before put it back in I was to check if we got spark if not I'm just going to take the distributor cap off and just to see what's underneath there maybe just clean it up a little bit and put it back together and see what's what so there is no spark change up clean the plug just Put it by the engine and there is no spark whatsoever so the actual i took the cap off i think we need to give it a bit of a clean looks a bit dirty so 
point ignition system need to be cleaned as well just to make sure we have actual spark coming from there uh, so next thing is clean it up Might somebody not agree with me on this, but I do enjoy using brake cleaner because at least you know you're cleaning off all the unnecessary bits you need to. So just wait for a minute and uh, wait till this dries out. Dries out so it doesn't arc everywhere. Good thing about brake cleaner, it evaporates so quick. So, won't have enough issue with that, any issue whatsoever. So after all the effort, I cleaned up the dizzy cap and cleaned everything. Looks like we got a spark. Let me just show you what we got. Good when you do it by yourself. So. So we got spark now, so I got a few more plugs to clean up, see if the car is going to fire up now. Here is some cool looking t-shirt design. You can buy it on Amazon.com, Amazon.co.uk and every purchase you make, you helping my channel growing. I leave the link in description. I promise my mate he's not going to be on the camera, but for ages and ages we're taking the spark plugs out, we checked in the fuel, the fuel went into the engine. We checked everything, we went through everything. So this is gonna be the last try now, because uh, got spark. I think it's a bit of a fueling issue as well. Some of them, the plugs was a little bit dry, but some of them is soaking wet. One plugs I changed from the old, old plugs. Uh, so, you know, I think, I think we got, Choke, we got everything, we got plug, uh, sparks, so here we go. Don't want to play ball. The throttle is stuck in a bit. Don't want to play ball whatsoever. Unfortunately, after all the effort I put in there today and the help of my mate as well to come over and try to start this lovely Daimler. It's a non-starter, unfortunately. After we got fuel, air, spark, everything. And I think the problem is with, this, with actually probably from, from the fueling, uh, with the stuck valve, because uh, when I checked, fuel getting to the two middle cylinders, so cylinder number three and four, and not seems to be too much fuel getting into the rest of them, the cylinder. So the problem is, the problem is there. I mean, this vehicle actually just done a check on it. The last time it's been taxed since was 1982. So, you know, it's been laid off for quite a few years now. But I hope you enjoyed today's bonfire episode. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next time. Bye.